WTBR News has learned the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission has found that Miller and Rhodes Department Store has discriminated against blacks in promotions. The EEOC report also cites Miller and Rhodes for acts of retaliation against the woman who filed the complaint. The woman had complained to the EEOC that Miller and Rhodes discriminated against her with respect to training, transfers, and promotion because she is black. The federal agency found no grounds for the training and transfer claims. On the promotion charge, Miller and Rhodes claimed the white man who got the sales manager position was more qualified than the black woman. But the commission determined her qualifications were comparable. The commission found of the 11 employees promoted to sales manager during the 1976-77 year in question, none was black. It goes on to say white sales managers were promoted after an average length of service of 21 months whereas the average length of service for black sales managers was seven years. Regarding the retaliation charge, the woman claimed once she filed her charges with the EEOC, she was unduly harassed with disciplinary actions. Miller and Rhodes claimed her problems centered around errors in paperwork and math, tardiness, and failure to get along with coworkers. But the commission found the evidence clearly demonstrates disciplinary actions were more severe than usual after she filed her initial charge. Though Miller and Rhodes, the EEOC, and the woman agreed not to discuss this case publicly, WTVR has learned the woman received back pay, a neutral reference for future jobs, and a lump sum settlement. She did not want her Miller and Rhodes job back. Department store personnel head William Miller says since he came on board this January, he has endeavored to give everyone an equal opportunity for employment and advancement at Miller and Rhodes. Andrea Long, WTVR News.